a lantern. A fairly typical one, as far as lanterns go. I'd rather not jump out the window unless I have to. A lantern. A fairly typical one, as far as lanterns Okay. My neighbor, Rob. My stalker, Rob. You think you know someone. She's still a little more chill about this than I figured she would be. Rob, please let me pass. Please. We can forget this ever happened. I won't tell anyone. Do I get to stab him now? That tried to protect you. Why would anyone judge me for that? Rob, you need help. You need to talk to someone. I'll help you. I'm serious. No. I have to keep you safe. You're not going anywhere. Okay. Uh, I'm going to save before I have to make a decision here. Boop. Okay. Uh, party hat. Nah. I don't think he... Aw. Can't blame a uh, girl for trying. That didn't work. I like that they made that an option. I don't. Nah. Good idea. Oh, yeah. So much well, for mace. That's the last time I buy cheap mace off the internet. Well, nah. Can I burn the collage? Nah. nah. I don't. Would you like a cigarette, nah. sir? Would you like a cigarette, little doll? Nah. nah. I don't. Well, we got a knife. What are you doing? me through or I'll cut you I swear to God no you won't don't fucking try me Robert do it you only call me Robert when you're upset well yeah I nice callback fucking upset I'm upset at what you've done to me at what you've made me endure and why to protect me if you'd seen what I've seen you'd know why Alex you'd know then tell me. Tell me what you've seen. No! I have to protect you! Crap. I like that knife. I could kill for a cigarette right now. If I try and go for the knife, Rob... No! I have to keep you safe. You're not going any... I don't... Screw it. Rob, I'm going to smoke, okay? I need to relax. Smoking will kill you, Alex. Jesus Christ, at least let me have this one thing. You can't protect me from everything. Can I stub it out on him? Fine, fine. Alright, cigarette. Get some. You want a toke? I don't smoke. It's surprisingly calming. You should try it. No. I Put it out in his eye. <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Oh my fucking eye! I'm, I'm blind! You fucking ass! That's what you get. Can I kick him while he's down? Yes! Rob, I feel for you. I really do. But nobody harasses me and gets away with it. Can I get the knife? Nope. What were you doing in there, lass? Kicking some guy's my stalker, ass. My, my neighbor, Rob. He's in there. I, I heard him. He might need medical attention. I can't go back in there. He was 
Oh, she doesn't quite sound as distraught as she nice. might need to. Yeah, we'll but what's what. yeah. Rob. Robert Crow, he's my neighbor and one Interesting. Of my best His last name's Crow. Scott. He's the one who's been calling me, encouraging me to think it was my ex, Gavin. He put the idea in my head. Oh god, it's so obvious now I think about it. But but Rob's not a bad guy. He's not okay. He's not okay. He was trying to protect me. <sighs> no then. Girl, you got way Sounds too like much chill. But that doesn't mean that you need to put up with this nonsense. Or let it hurt you. There's a life lesson yeah, for you. I know. But I heard him. Can you at least go in and check on him? See if he needs first aid? Nah. I don't rightly think I can, lassie. Can I? And I think that you know why. He won't be in there if you go in, will he? I. You understand this place better than most of us did when we first got here. I... I think I do. This is the sepulchre, right? Aye. Oh, Gloria. <laughs> the engine of death. Only... Only... Tonight we make our last stop. It's all thanks to you. You and Lang. But why us? I know, but... Okay. I don't understand. Why us? The island wants you, lassie. You and the doctor. Us? We're just the staff. You two are the special ones. But you're setting us all free tonight. One way or another. Who is us? Me and, well, you'll see soon enough. Floyd. You should go and check on your friends. I heard something of a ruckus down in carriage too. Oh, and... They're in 2A, right? I'm sorry about all this. Aw. Hi. Locked. I can hear snoring. Laying sleeping through all of this. I envy him. Cause he's dead as dicks. Hi again. Hey Isaiah. Hey Al. How you doing? I'm... I'm surprisingly okay. Man, really? You and Gavin were really going at it. We... Cause he's a douche. Yeah. i never seen a girl cuss out her boyfriend like that. Well, ex-boyfriend I guess now. Oh. Oh, yeah. That was tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. That was tonight? Like, half an hour ago? Yeah, are you sure you're okay? Totally. Yeah. Time's... Time's a little fucked up for me right now. Don't worry about it. Alright. Sophia took Carly into the other room. Do I get to Maybe kick her should, ass? I don't know. Try and patch things up? If patch you things up with my elbow. Last to the time bridge of her nose. I left it. I blamed them both. I was so sure. So sure. My friends would never talk to me about it. Or maybe I just wouldn't listen. I need to find out what really happened. Maybe tonight I can make things right. What so, happened? in your opinion... In my opinion, she was all over him. Gavin tried to get rid of her. She wasn't having any of okay. it. Okay. So in, it's Carly's fault. Kick Carly's in, ass. Worst time, right? I don't know. All I'm saying is, from where I was standing, your boy didn't look like he was having a good time of it. That's why they broke I up wondered with that. A bitch. I always did. But Gavin admitted it. He said he wanted to end it too. That he wanted to see other people. He never defended himself. You didn't really give him a chance to. You kicked him right out. Oh. I mean, afterwards. In the weeks after. Wait, that hasn't happened here yet. Never mind. Girl. You're making my head spin with this. That's cool, you're not even real. My advice is, go talk to Carly. She's sobered up. She'll tell you Gavin did nothing wrong. Okay. In a bit. Where did it's Gavin gone, go? Right? Yeah, your boy bounced after you threw that cup at him. Real mood killer. Okay, don't make me feel worse about it. Hey, it was kind of funny, really. At least it was just a plastic cup. Last I saw, he was headed off. Maybe you should call him. Tomorrow. 
I will tomorrow. My phone's broken. Have you seen Rob about? Don't know the dude. My neighbor, from across the hall. Oh no, nah. he ain't been by that I've seen. Okay, Isaiah, you remember those nuisance phone calls? Huh? No, you ain't mentioned that to me. Fair enough. Oh shit. Yeah, they start in a few days. What? Nothing. Existential crisis. Don't worry about it. Man, that's the theme of the night, all right. Okay. Fuck it. I'm gonna go talk to Carly. Like I said, she's next door with Sophia. Okay, cool. Have a good night, Isaiah. Peace. I didn't really explain the bags yet either. I mean, obviously everybody is in the bags, but Apparently why? Carly and Sophia are in here. Hi. Hey, hey it's Grub. You need to talk Carly down. I am Judas. I am Judas. I am Judas. Why does she have She's a rover on her neck? She... Look, she threw herself at Gavin. There's no easy way to say it, okay? So Isaiah said. I am Judas. I am the betrayer. <sighs> Who in the blue fuck is that? What? Carly. No, that dude. Alex, don't dick around. So they can't Carly, see him. Or at least please, she can't. I can't do this anymore. I am the sinner. I am the whore. There's something wrong with his face. It's like my eyes can't focus on him. He's clutching a small bag. Okay. A picture of a boat sailing on what appears to be an underground river. Oh, that's not a reference to uh. I think it's meant to be Karen's a ferry on the sticks. Ooh. Not at all. Maybe. Sophia is one of my best friends, but it infuriates me how much of a diplomat she is at times. Same thing from before. A weird-looking man in a weird-looking hat. His eyes follow me around the room. I have it's Rob. No I have. No Don't mess with the pictures, okay? It's Carly. She's wearing a noose around her neck. Yeah, that's. Talk to Carly, please. Not typical. Okay. Hi. Okay. Fuck that. Carly, what the fuck happened? Alex, I have betrayed you. I am the sinner. Well, yeah, I fucking know that. I want to hear it in your words. I am Judas. I am the path to Calvary. He promised me silver. That devil promised me silver. Where's my... Technically, it was a Pharisee Carly, that promised you silver, but whatever. Tell me what the fuck you did. Was Gavin complicit? Silver. I want my silver. This is... Fucking useless. Silverware. I to find any silver. Kitchen. Cafeteria. Here have a hat. Nah. I shouldn't leave yet. Uh, do I have anything else that might be silver? I don't have the knife anymore. Nah. Who wants a hat? Nah. Nobody wants a hat. She asked me to hold on. I don't carry change. Okay, so much for that. Nah. 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 Alright, do you want to say? Nah. Nah. Can't light up another one. Hey, you got any money on you? Yeah, there's some in my purse. You can grab it. Uh -huh. Where's your purse? Just over there. See? Oh, he's the one holding the purse. Ah. Oh. Oh. Hey, can you understand Now can we give him a hat? Me? I need that bag. Can I have it? Weird guy Don said he gave his matches to? 
Oh, he likes playing with fire, so maybe give him the lighter, but we'll try the hat first. Hey, how about a trade? This lighter for the bag? <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, lighter. There's something wrong with this. Alright, loose change. Three dollars and four cents. Hopefully this will do. It's money anyway. And then you get your silver. Here, will this do? Three oh four. That might be important too. Silver, my silver. Yeah, that's what this is. Me, Alex. He wanted you. He wanted you, and it kills me. You were the noose around my neck, Alex. You. Deal with it. Wanted you. And you sent him into the cold. You sent him into the earth. What the hell do you mean, into the earth? Oh, you poor, sweet dear. You have no clue, do you? He didn't kill himself, did he? Not really, no. If only he could have explained. He wouldn't face me. I tried, Carly. God, I tried. I wanted to meet up, to try and talk it through, but he wouldn't. Just terse phone calls that turned into text messages that turned into nothing. Almost as if, almost as if, we only want to protect you, Alex. What? All of us only want Not this to again. protect you. Hey, Bernie friend. I can't do anything. Oh, hi. Okay. Well, you're no fucking use, are you? Do you want a hat now? Nah. Damn it. <laughs> I want to give somebody the hat. They wouldn't make you pick it up for a reason, or for no reason, right? Right? Okay, Lydia's room is open again. Maybe she wants a hat. Hi. keep hearing weird noises on this train and a man keeps looking in at me through the door you mean Don the conductor no a strange man I've never seen him before I don't like him it's Rob I want my daddy my daddy's gonna get me from the station he said he got me a present I hope it's Lydia Rob. is Rob's daughter isn't he dolls. oh Oh, Lydia, sweetie. We got her last name earlier, didn't Daddy. Rob? Me she mentioned Daddy Rob's. Yelp! Oh, God. What so. the hell is going on? Do you know my Daddy? Yeah. Yeah, I... Your Daddy misses you very much, Lydia. Very, very much. This... This train journey you're on. Do you remember how it ends? I remember a man and a doll. It was cold. We got off the train early. He said he was my daddy's friend, and then... Uh-oh. And then I'm back on the train, and we're going to see daddy. Um. I can take you to see your daddy right now, if you want. Uh-uh. That's what the man said, too. But he had a doll from daddy to prove it. So I got to go back and get the doll. I should... All right, let's get the doll. Rob's going to be pissed, though. What with the not having an eye? Or at least having a very badly damaged eye. It's probably not particularly functional right now. Or he's gone. I don't want Rob to get this back. I'll take it. The little glow at the top when you get something out of your inventory was a nice touch. Just a little reminder that, hey, you picked something up. Good to know. Can I put the hat on the doll? Nah. Hey, Lydia, I have something for you. Oh, that's the doll I saw with Daddy. You really have met him. 
This is still kind of yeah. weird. Do you want to go see him? Yeah, let me just. And she's gone. Who's that? Lydia? Lydia? The bag. Let's have a look. It's. It's full of dirt. The dirt's moving. It's full of worms. Oh, God, gross. There's something in there, too, but there's no way I'm plunging my hand into that teeming mess. But who is the writer that Don was talking to? It's full of war. What are they going to fish around with? Nah. It's full of worms. I'll just scoop some of this dirt oh, away. Oh, okay. I wanted to give somebody that, but oh. Huh. It's my knife. I'll take that. Technically, it's not your knife. I should. A music box. 